there is as much deuteria below ground as there is visible on the surface. In the planet's history, there have been entire races that have lived safe underground, but much of Tyria's history is tumultuous, and one by one many of these races were forced from their deep subterranean existence closer to the surface. One of these races was the Skrit, a group of bipedal, rodent-like creatures that managed to survive in groups and eventually spread across the land. Skrits are somewhat of an anomaly on Tyria, a race that operates and thrives based on a principle called group intelligence. On an individual basis, the Skrits are uncoordinated and disorganised, speaking in disjointed phrases and living in haphazard conditions. But in greater numbers, the Skrits' unrivaled ability to share and pass on information makes them a voracious and ingenious force to be reckoned with. Skrit communicates in chirps, squeaks and sounds so fast that other creatures such as humans cannot detect them, but other Skrit listen intently. They challenge each other, working until their ideas take shape and become much more rational and cunning. And then the Skrit are capable of truly fantastic things. Skrit live in a variety of environments, as they are able to make the best out of most situations. From the freezing shiver peaks, to the lava-strewn rocks of the Ring of Fire, the verdant undergrowth of Auric Basin, to the sand dunes of the Maguma Wastes. The colonies vary in size, and as such the complexity of their settlements, also known as scratches, varies too. They may be above or below the ground, in caves or in the open, and are usually constructed of metal and scrap that the scrits have found nearby. All around Skrit scratches are the fruits of their curiosity, pillaged or traded, even possibly donated technology from nearby settlements. In fact, some Skrits are irritating pests to nearby creatures, as they steal their property for their own purposes. The Skrits value technology and items that are most useful to them above all else, and have the fantastic capability of being able to figure out how these things work if given enough time. In smaller scratches, such as this one in Caledon Forest, the number of scrits is a little too sparse. Their intelligence to fathom the abundance of Asurian tech that also shares this space is therefore a little limited. Instead, the scrits harvest and hoard anything that appears like it could be useful, the shinier the better, and they take great pains to protect their property from outsiders. Other times, the scrits' curiosity and affinity for the interesting takes them in a dangerous direction. Here in Metrica province, Skrits have been meddling with chaos magic. Drawn to the sparking, smoking rocks infused with this magic, the Skrits covet them, and it takes a great deal of convincing to get them to give them up. The Skrit file towards a giant sparkling sphere and feed the chaos magic into it, but all the activity draws the interest of more sinister creatures, who haunt the Skrit and attack them from the shadows. Ultimately, there appears to be a critical mass of Skrit that makes their tinkering a success rather than a simple distraction. They are capable of fantastic feats, but only if there are enough Skrit minds to bounce ideas between. In the Silver Wastes, the consequences of too few Skrit are painfully obvious. And yet, some individuals still show great depth of thought, like Krichta. She has risen to a special rank in Skrit society here as many Skrit believe she has the power to bring water to their arid home. They work tirelessly on their ship, the SS Topsy Turvy, ever hopeful that one day she will sail and take them away from the bandits and Mordrum that hound them. But Krichtar wants to keep everyone working on the ship forever, for reasons we can only guess, and sends Skrit and visitors alike on a twisting, life-endangering quest for her dowsing rod to keep everyone under the illusion that she is working hard. Whether she wants to give everyone a tangible goal to keep their morale from faltering, or if her motives are far more selfish, it's remarkable how much her leadership inspires these Skrit to work together. Normally, Skrit leadership falls on the Skrit that have the highest prowess at passing information. The fast talkers, the ones with bright ideas, and best listening skills are those Skrit that other Skrit naturally follow. Sometimes such strong leadership is matched by the number of Skrit in a scratch and the result is great societal growth. Here in Brisbane Wildlands is perhaps the largest scratch currently known, Skritsburg. It is presided over by the Skrits King. 
the king governs with the goal of rebuilding Squit society to the heights it was before Primordus awoke. Their city is well defended by gates and guards, and the technology here is intricate, varied and impressive. But the role of the king is usually very short-lived. Unfortunately for the Skrits, the high turnover of their governance impacts their societal growth. The Skrits here are plagued by the inquest, nightmare core and the bandits that haunt these worlds, and they kill or enslave the Skrits at a tremendous rate. What heights Skritsburg could reach if left to its own devices still remains to be seen. Across the land in the Maguma Wastes, there is another Skrit monarch, but this Skrit queen isn't nearly as welcoming of outsiders as the king. Because her colony of Skrits is so much smaller, isolated here in the sandy cliffs of Drytop, they lack much of the rational ability a larger Skrit group would have. They have reverted to a more primitive state, lashing out at outsiders to fiercely protect their property, and they fight to keep others away from their impressive, most shiny of shinies. Skrit can be very lazy, and seek the easiest route to a solution if they can. They feed themselves based on this principle, preferring to eat simply and harvest what grows nearby. Here in Brisbane Wildlands, there is a cave filled with glowing grubs. The Skrit tend to them and harvest them, eating their protein-rich bodies. They may also eat fungi or plants that grow in their caves, anything that doesn't require intensive farming. In the deep Maguma jungle, the Skrit pillage nests of gigantic saurians and take their eggs. Whatever the food, Skrits are no strangers to dancing with danger in order to get it. Some Skrits have developed a taste for less nutritious consumables. Here in Ember Bay, some Skrits have developed a strong taste for alcohol. Despite the obvious impact this has on their coordination and the proximity to a whole host of dangers, these pirates don't appear to care. These Skrits are unusual in that they have created a truly long-lasting alliance with another race, or rather, one member of a race. Here is all that remains of the dwarf, Robe and Awestriker. The Skrits here protect and listen to Awestriker, and their well-defended Scratch is a result of their excellent training and teamwork. Other alliances have sprung up in Auric Basin, where the Skrit that followed the pact into the jungle have been in search of a new home. But their Scratch has been threatened by the current occupants of the jungle and the abundance of dragon minions infringes upon them from all sides. Drawn to the Exalted, mainly because of the Skrits' affinity to shiny things, the Skrits have joined forces with the Pact and other defenders of the jungle to fight against the dragon's corruption. Their skill set has meant any fight to protect Taria in particular has been successful, and the Skrits' natural ability to empathise and respect nature and its creatures makes them fantastic caretakers of other living things and Skrits such as Tarachiki have been able to shape such creatures into powerful allies. The Skrit truly showcase the resilience of their kind. No matter the environment, they claw their way through life by taking advantage of even the smallest opportunity. If their habitats were safer, and their families and scratches given free reign to grow, no doubt Tyria would see the Skrit rise to one of the strongest societies around. <laughs>